are mixed. Yeah, hey guys, this is a big deal, especially to families, because this has to do with kids as young as five years old. So as you suggested there, parents are a bit divided on this and which way they'll go. My pediatrician friends always remind me, uh, children are not simply little adults. Um, their physiology and biology is different. In a major move that could impact millions of families, Pfizer has officially applied for emergency use authorization of its vaccine for use in children aged 5 to 11. The big issue in children is going to be, is it safe? And, and we have enough data to say that the same kind of side effect profile that we saw in adults is what we're seeing in children. Dr. John Weary is the director of Institute of Immunology at the University of Pennsylvania. He says the data so far from Pfizer, which had 3,000 children in their trial, has shown the vaccine administered in smaller doses to be safe and effective for children. The vaccines look uh, very effective in children as they are in adults. Has the trial shown any uh, dangers for children on a, on a mass scale? No, it hasn't, um, and, and uh, the, the vaccines look very safe. However, Dr. Weary did point out a very small subset of young males and boys. There is a risk regarding their heart. The relatively low rate, but detectable rate of something called myocarditis, and especially young men and boys, older boys, um, that's essentially inflammation around the heart. When that happens, uh, it resolves very quickly with no long-term consequences, but it is something that the FDA is going to be discussing and we need to watch for. I, I hope that it gets proved very soon. Lee Leonard has two young kids and one turning five years old and would be eligible for the vaccine if it's approved for emergency use. After researching the vaccine, she's comfortable with her child getting it. I had concerns initially before I understood what the vaccine was actually made of, but now knowing that it's not the live virus, it's the mRNA, I think it's totally safe. Dr. Weary believes the FDA will approve the emergency use authorization, and he thinks it's the right move. Children are getting COVID. Some of them are getting very sick. It is much more traumatic for a child to end up in the hospital than to get a vaccine. Now, Shana, the good doctor also mentioned that this is a family decision. We spoke with parents who did not want to go on camera and they disagreed. They said their kids would not be getting this vaccine, that they're too young and they just wanted to stay away from it. But as you heard from the doctor there, he does believe that any sort of side effects from a vaccine are far less than if your child were unvaccinated and ended up in the hospital from COVID-19. So a big decision potentially coming the way of many millions of families. Yeah, it's a day a lot of families have been eagerly awaiting. Thank you, Marcus. Philadelphia